We are Chris and Jen, and we are on a journey. We are full-time RVers from Pennsylvania, learning how to live on the road while exploring the outdoors and the history of America. Join in at To Wander Freely. So in the town of Fort Davis, you can actually visit Fort Davis. And Fort Davis um, was used in the 1800s. It was actually named after the Secretary of War Jefferson Davis. Uh, this was pre-Civil War, so uh, you know later on he became the president of the Confederacy during the Civil War. So that's really interesting because we've been to his house his, um, that Beauvoir, which was his home, much later in life after the Civil War, after his imprisonment, after all of those things. So it's kind of neat as you travel as uh, RVers, you get a chance to be able to put all these pieces together. So here we are in West Texas, and yet we're seeing a fort that was established and named after Jefferson Davis. When we were in Mississippi, we toured his home. So it's really neat to be able to put those things together. Yeah, sure is. Chris loves when I put the history part together. I so it. I've got so much to say about it, <laughs> as you can tell. <laughs> so anyway, uh, at the fort, um, <laughs> there's a beautiful visitor center that looks like it was really newly done with a nice museum showing you the information, a nice new bathrooms. Everything mm -hmm. is like impeccable here. They must have really put a lot of money into it recently. Yeah, it's a really nice layout. Um, it's much bigger than I expected, mm -hmm. um, and just really well done. Yeah, I mean you could. Yeah, plan on spending a couple hours here pretty easy I mean and that's if you're moving I mean, you could spend half a day here they've got a lot of exhibits a lot of information that you could just information boards for reading and there's a video that we didn't even uh, you know partake in but um, yeah really well done and yeah I agree a lot of a, lot, a number of recent updates Yes. It looks like, yeah. So what they have, they have a lot of buildings where they have the ruins, what was left. It's kind of ex, like partially excavated and... They've got it down to the foundations, basically. Any of the, like the stone foundation comes up about a foot out of the ground. And then most of these looks like they would have gotten it with like the adobe bricks. Well, all that's gone on a number of the... Um, old locations where, where the buildings were. For, for some of the original, because during yeah. the Civil War, forts, this fort and a lot of the frontier forts were kind of um, you know neglected and abandoned for a while during that time as all the soldiers were fighting the Civil War obviously so um, then afterwards that once it got reinstated they had to rebuild a lot of the new buildings and those newer buildings that were built like in the 1870s um, those are a lot of those are still intact and you can tour them and they have even some of them they have like you know refinished the inside to to model what it would have been like so it was really really neat it reminded us we stopped in Wyoming at Fort Laramie and uh, we really enjoyed our day there as well and it reminded us a lot of that yeah, it did. Yeah, the, the buildings that they have set up where um, they actually have the furniture and the furnishings in there, they're some of the most well-done ones that I've seen. I mean, I, yes. I think they're really impressive and, and well-done. A lot of detail and uh, just beautiful scenes in there. Yeah. Yes. So we are right now, we just finished our lunch after touring the grounds. Um, they have a nice, a couple of nice picnic tables in shade. Yeah, they've got these little structures built to keep you out of the sun. Right. So nice. we'll just we'll we'll show you some footage of just the general uh, layout of the grounds, and then um, we'll take you around and show you some of the um, actual buildings. I'm not sure if you can hear it, but uh, in the background they've got some uh, bugle calls going on, uh, and they've been going on the entire time we've been here on the grounds. They do them pretty much every 15 minutes, and they give you a paper when you check in at the visitor center. Uh, which says what each of the different bugle calls is for, which is really cool. It kind of shows how they could pretty easily communicate around the entire fort um, based on, you know, what was coming up for the next thing to do during the day. Obviously, you can imagine they had quite the regimented schedule, and they had uh, not only the, the guys man in the fort, but a lot of them had their families, wives, and children looking too, and everybody had stuff to do during the day. So, yeah, the... The bugle call thing was pretty cool. And this is just looking down. There you can see the officer's row over there. Mountains right right behind, which is a really pretty setting. And then you got the main entrance and the visitor center off to the right. This is the commissary building, and it is the actual original commissary building, but they have restored it to make it look like the commissary, um, similar to what it would have looked like. As you can imagine, storing all the food and actually even getting it to the frontier 
during the time that the fort was active would have been quite a task. So you can take a look and see what it looked like. This was the home of the Grierson's. They lived here at Fort Davis from 1882 to 1885. And Fort Davis was left abandoned in the 1890s. I think it was 1891. So they were here right at the end of its um, Fort Davis's service. So um, let's take a look at, this is a really, they have a beautiful porch here. And let's take a look inside because they have a really nice home. And they have the, a lot of the furniture is actually, was their furniture. So um, they have restored this area to show you what it really looked like. So you have a, the master bed. And this, I just love this entryway because you have the two doors you can open up and you can feel the breeze here nice and shaded. This is like a kind of like a sitting room. And we'll show you their parlor. Here is the hospital that was post-Civil War hospital for the fort. And on the right and the left side, you can see the two wards. Each of them held 12 beds. And then in the central part, you can see where they did, the doctor was, the actual office rooms, and um, the isolation room as well, which we're about to show you. Gosh, look at that old doorknob. Looks just like the one house we lived in. <laughs> That's right. About the same time period. Actually, like my parents' home and several homes that we've lived in. Those are original floor joists there. Those tools do not look like any fun. Hmm. 